Alright, and we are back with part seven, I believe. I don't know. It's getting late, and I am losing track of things. So it would appear that this is an exact replica of the mail ward. And since I have a crew, let's go into the library. from German. Berlin, September 6th, 1938. Rick Slater Lohner and Dr. Med Rogue. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke in his development of the m morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with the A-Turing if I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened, but beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer regeneration, I believe Wernicke's methods has breached the spiritual realm, something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition briefly, but undeniably so. Please forward my note and invitation to witness further experiments to Dietrich Eckert. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need to be made aware of our discoveries. It is in my opinion that Dr. Wernicke's successes represents an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of calling program. Regards to your family. Signature Ill 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 illegible. Wow.
1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English births are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... The proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed the horror was capable of activating. Alright, the man sounds like Dr. Strangelow's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording and interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. It seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting. It gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rorschach. Tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. So I think you as the player has witnessed enough horror that the engine would be capable. I think the engine Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No think that they contacted something supernatural. Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? You have to find Vernicke. The only way. Jesus, there was actually someone in there. Uh, let's replace that battery. eating bacteria. Wash those hands regularly. Necrotizing facitis? Really? I fucking quit. <laughs>
Jesus. Ah, he didn't even let me try to open the door. jump for the ledge. How did... What I want to know is how did he get... over there? And I don't even know what the fuck this key's for. And why is that door open? You know, I hate games. Ah, is it fatty again? God, every time the camera fucking freaks out, it makes me feel like I'm playing fucking Slender. So we got freaky music going on again. It's the naked people again. You know, it'd be so much nicer if you just walk in here so I could know that you're like by me and I'm in the dark. I can sneak by you. I mean, see, look at this shit. I mean, he's standing right fucking there. Oh, and of course, I gotta go the fucking opposite direction.
use that shit for safe measures. Okay, so I believe this would be the third floor, so Father Martin should be somewhere around here again. And of course the elevator needs a fucking key. I gotta go up here. Maybe. music. Static again. A patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear, but more clearly. Maybe it's his way out of this place. The priest called it the Gospel of Sand. Once again, I have no idea if I'm supposed to be out here, but it's a path.
God hates sickness. God hates money. God always provides a way. Oh, what, you people? was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch you call my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fix the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now my son. <laughs> Can't believe Father Martin one up Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die. <laughs> and I don't believe I'm going to miss him a way out. If he's telling the truth, now I've got a way out. And a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole fucking world. I don't remember where the fuck to go. Yeah, that is not the way to go. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Alright. 
So that's the save point. The elevator just went away. That's lovely. And I guess that's where I'll be ending this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing Father Martin's fabulous death.